June 17th, Sunday, 2009, I, Demon Boy 7 had a pleasure of finally beating one of my, one of my new favorite games, and probably the reason why anyone won't keep, would keep of PS2. I just beat Shadow Colossus. This game is by far one of the most beautiful games I ever played in all my life. I love it. This is why a PS2 was existed. This game is amazing. This is why this is, this game is an example of why the PS2 is probably the best system of all time. And let me just explain. Shadow Colossus is a simple game. It's actually a puzzle game. You wouldn't believe it or not, but actually it's a puzzle game. You start off as a you start off as a traveling person named well. Paul, oh, you don't start trap person. You start as a as a as a warrior by the name of Wander. He accompanied by nothing but a horse and a dead girl. He goes to a he goes to a forbidden temple of forbidden lands, where he meets this this, this all powerful spirit spirits by the name of Dorman. He he asked he asked Dorman to revive his lost love who was sacrificed. Dorman tells him. Sorry, dude. I can't disobey the laws of humans. Or can I? That's right. No man strikes a bargain with you. If you can kill 16 Colossi, then he'll revive your girlfriend. What can you do but accept it? So you're off. Killing 16, bo 16 bosses. This game is very interesting. There are no dungeons. There are no... Truly, there are no, like, things you have... No keys or anything you have to use. And there are no minions, just the 16 Colossi. Trust me, they are not easy. Not even the not from the first one, not the last one. These guys are huge, excluding two. But trust me, they're cheap. Well, not cheap. Right, the second short, the second smallest cheap. But that's an exception. <clears throat> Long story short, you go through an epic battle between 16 gruesome beast who are not too thrilled that you're in their crib they will pwn you if you are not careful after you see you each of them each colossus they don't they don't have an exact name to them they are nothing more than beings who are going to whoop your ass if you are not careful the trick is you must. This game gives you, makes you think you're on nothing more than a horse, a bow, and a magic sword. The sword, no, by magic sword, I mean it has it has the power of light on the side. So it's not exactly like you can shoot energy blasts from it. In fact, the Colossus will be shooting energy blasts at you. Well, not all of them, but trust me, it gets rather annoying, and they would not make the game easy for you. Well, duh, they're not supposed to, but you know what I mean. So, when you each time you kill each time you kill Colossus, you get tentacle raped, and every time you get back, to, you get all that teleport back to the temple. And Dorman man does not give you a sign of congratulations. Only thy next foe is. That trust me, that gets really annoying. But not annoying, but. You're killing all these monsters. Can you just give a congratulations or something? Oh well. Who cares? As long as you get the girl, that's all that matters, right? Why are you? Meanwhile, while you're going through killing people, well, Colossi, Colossi turns out your peeps, a, a high priest and a couple of guards are on their way to stop you and pray they are not too late. Doorman does. Old man gives you the heads up around the thirteen colossi that you are not alone. So you got so you're thinking, gotta hurry up, gotta, gotta save my girl, right? This is true. Don't worry, this game not actually time based. So when you start kill, so when you finally get down to the last colossi, he tells you to hurry up, cause they are that, cause it turns out the high priests are this close to stopping you. So you run off to find the final colossi. Who is by f who is just like in your final boss? Cheap as hell. So when you mess to slay him, you get teleported. But it turns out, it seems like you got played. Basically, 
you are only being used by doormen. And first, you get killed. Number four, awesomely pulling a sword at you before you drop to the ground. Game over, right? Close. Turns out, doormen possesses your your body, and you become doormen. And often again, you can control yourself as doormen. So you smash into the walls, trying to stop these people. They can't beat you, but they damn sure see you up again. This is exactly what they do. They close the bridge to the crushed lands, and then they they activate a special seal, which absorbs Dormin and all his all his shadow thingies into wherever they go. And the hero desperately tries to get he desperately tries to get, get to his girl. Unfortunately, since just before the final battle, your horse gets your horse falls off a bridge, not for awesomely saving you. From suffering his fate, and it's kind of sad, really. For you get you get trapped into the seal, and it seems like you're pretty much fucked. Turns out, it's like you're the bad guy. Since you trying, since they sacrificed her, so they thought she was cursed or something like that. I'm guessing, and it's really depressing, really. And it seems like this game is bittersweet. Which is this, you don't get the girl, your horse is dead, and everything you've done was for nothing. Or is it? Turns out, your man didn't cheat you. Your girl's alive, and well. And guess who's else with her? Your trusty steed with nothing more than a crippled leg. And what happens to you? Oh, nothing, you just get reverted into a baby. And I won't be complaining out of you. And where it seems like you're trapped in a place forever, there's actually another part to the to the place that you couldn't get to before. But now you can. And thus the game ends with you as a baby, with your lover now mother and your crippled horse. Don't worry, there's food. I'm looking at you, dear boy. And that's how the game ends. This game may not seem that all that silence is not too much story to it, but the story, the story is there. This is an example of a game that's not about the story itself, but about f- the game. The game main focus is not the story, but rather the game. You find the, the two things in the elements of the story to make it fun: finding the colossi and killing the colossi. You'll feel so much better when you kill the colossi. There is a pain, the worst thing about the game is not trying to. It's, it's fun. Let me put it this way: it's hard to figure out where to go. And how to kill the monsters. They do not spell out for you. You have to think. And you, so you don't like puzzle games. This won't be the game for you. But you like to think. Or you like using a strategy guy. And has satisfaction in killing giant monsters. This game is right for you. ID Modelo 7. Give this game is right for grade. A perfect 5 out of 5. And this game is awesome. The music is awesome. The gameplay is awesome. This is definitely one of the better games for the PS2. So, you're yeah, not too skeptical about certain games like Kingdom Hearts, Grand Theft Auto. I recommend you get Shadow Colossus. It's totally worth the time and effort. And this is Nemo Double 7 signing out and done with yet another review. I'll be coming out soon with more. And hopefully, I have my whole internet. Au revoir, folks. Hope you enjoyed this.